let's talk about Z codes very quickly. Influencing health status and contact with health services. Remember what I said is that ICD is always your why, correct? Every time you go to the see a provider, a diagnostic code is assigned to you. It's going to be on every claim. We always have to justify medical necessity, right? Why did you go to the doctor, Karina? Well, I had a headache. Sometimes I go to the doctor and I'm not sick, though, right? When would I go to the doctor and I'm not sick? Huh? My preventive exam. That's exactly right. So I'm getting a physical. Why else would I go to the doctor and not be sick? What if I need birth control? There's some for pregnancy. There's a lot for pregnancy because, I mean, there's, there's, there's non-Z codes for complications of pregnancy. But me just being pregnant, I'm not sick. Okay? <laughs> pregnant. Okay? Um, so what about an injury that's considered sick? That would be a, a disease or injury, yes. Okay? And some of these are a little confusing as to why they fit under there. Um, let's see. If I've been exposed to something, if I've been exposed to rabies, doesn't mean I have rabies. I was exposed to it. Okay. So I could go to the doctor today. Um, I think I test this pretty quick though. <laughs> I could probably hop on it if I they thought I had rabies. But let's let's say HIV. Okay. So say I go to the physician today. Uh, I go on Monday, right? I say I think I've been exposed to HIV. They're going to do tests and blah blah blah, right? exam and all that stuff, right? That claim's going to go in with the Z code that says I've been exposed to HIV. It's not going to put that I have HIV because you don't know, but they're not putting on my claim that I have HIV if I've only been exposed to it. Because right. then that lives in my medical record forever. Oh yeah, and it doesn't go away. Not without moving the sky and the earth. Yeah, I had blood exposure when I worked at the hospital. Did you? I had a hemovac explode in my face. Oh my god. Yeah, and I had to go through a year of constant blood tests. I bet you did. Yeah. And that's what went on your claims or on, you know, your work comp or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Is, you know, that exposure. Okay. So I come back Wednesday, right? And they say, Jennifer, I'm sorry you have HIV. Wednesday's claim will have HIV. Okay. Monday's claim is not going to. Make sense? Okay. So exposure is a good example. Um, being a donor, so say if I donate a kidney, I'm not sick, right? Um, I am a carrier, so maybe I uh, am a genetic carrier. Okay, not sick. Um, your BMI, body mass index, is in there. They require a lot of those on PEDS claims. Um, you might code that. I've got a morbidly obese patient, right, because I may need to justify why I need a special bed in the hospital on the floor, you know, because most hospital beds aren't designed to hold a 500-pound patient, you know, but you get 500-pound patients sometimes. <laughs> so you, you have to, like, rent a, someone like Lawrence Memorial would have to rent special beds and stuff, you know. But I've got to justify it. I've got to justify everything. I want to represent, I'm painting a picture through these codes that go electronically to Blue Cross Blue Shield and then they give me money. Okay. Um, let's see. Aftercare or a follow up. Not sick. Broke my leg two months ago. Coming back for a checkup. My leg's not broken. I don't want to put on the, the claim that I have a broken leg when I don't. Following up on my broken leg. 
Uh, oh, here's a big one. Here's a big, big, big one. History of. Here's where it gets a little confusing. Okay, so I've got family history, personal history, right? Not sick. Every woman in my family's had breast cancer, we'll say, right? Okay. So every say every woman in my family had breast cancer in their 40s, which is not super common, right? Usually. Right, yeah. They there's get older. Yeah, there's been a lot of breast cancer in my family, but they're like 60s, 70s, right. 80s, right? But say everybody's in their 40s when they get it. I'm in my 40s. I would sure like to get checked a mammogram twice a year, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. For just regular Jennifer in her 40s, they're going to pay for one a year, right? But Jennifer with um, a family history of breast cancer, they'll pay for two. Does that make sense? Personal history. Say I had breast cancer 10 years ago, okay? Well, now the doctor wants to do an ultrasound. It's not just a mammogram. He wants to do ultrasounds, okay? More money, right? Well, I have a personal history of breast cancer, okay? Um, all that kind of stuff. So it's we're, what we're coding from ICE is we are coding everything that impacts that encounter, okay? So... I go in because I jammed my finger. The fact that I have a personal history of smoking doesn't matter, right? Unless I was smoking while I jammed. I don't know how that Right. Cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that doesn't matter, right? So I don't need to code it because it's not part of the physician's thought process either. He doesn't have to think, well, she did used to smoke. I better think about this while I'm figuring out how to treat her jammed finger. Right? But I come in and I've had a cough for eight weeks that won't go away. Now we're thinking about that personal history of smoking, right? It impacts the encounter. It's being considered by the clinician. It needs to be represented as part of the codes for that encounter. Okay? My first listed code, sequencing is, is important. My first listed code is. In, a, in our outpatient world, okay, is always my chief complaint. The main, not my chief complaint, but the main reason I presented for the encounter, okay. So, number one code: jammed uh, cough. I have so much finger. Who cares? All right. Okay. Number one code is my cough, right? Number two code is a personal history of smoking, okay, or exposure to second hand smoke. Something like that, you get the idea. Yeah. Everything that is being represented, but your first one is really always going to be the main reason I presented for the encounter. Okay? So, um, so like, one time, this has been a long time ago, one time I went to the doctor, I was um, working on um, building a house and I had insomnia. I don't know, maybe I was going to get divorced. It doesn't matter. Something stressful was happening. Okay? okay? <laughs> All right. Something bad was happening. I couldn't sleep. But I couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep. And I just hit that wall and I was like, I can't sleep. I need some pills, please. <laughs> yeah, please just give me some pills. But uh, uh, anyway, I, I couldn't sleep. But I also had scratched my finger, right? And when I scratched my finger and I scratched it on some metal, I was like, gosh, I haven't had a tetanus shot in like 13 years. I probably should get one. You know, so I went to the doctor for the insomnia, and I was like, also, I scratched my finger, and um, I probably should get a tetanus shot. And so she was like, okay, right? And so a couple weeks later, I get a phone call, or a week later, from the office, and they're like, how did you cut your finger? And I said, oh, I was refinishing a light fixture. And I went, okay, and hung up. Now, if I was a coder, that would have been a weird question, okay? But they're representing everything that went on during that encounter. I had a code for insomnia, right? I had a code for a laceration. So anytime you have an accident or an injury, they need another why or how. How did you hurt yourself? The doctor forgot to ask me how I scratched my finger, so it wasn't in the record. Okay. Okay? So because it wasn't in the record, the coder couldn't look up the code to see how I hurt myself. So remember I was talking about injured while crocheting, yeah. getting sucked into an airplane engine. 
you know, hit by spacecraft. <laughs> hit by a flying horse. Hit by a, all, yeah. everything. You can hurt yourself a lot of ways. You know, <laughs> falling off a boat. I mean, there's all these, like, external cause codes, too, okay? Those you would never use by, you know, refinishing a light fixture would never be my main diagnosis. That doesn't make any sense. Right. Okay? But there's also that code set that represents how I injured myself. They're tracking how people hurt themselves because then they can work on improving safety. That's one thing. But also, Blue Cross Blue Shield wants to know how I hurt myself because if I hurt myself in a car accident, does Blue Cross Blue Shield have to pay for it? No. Geico does. If you hurt yourself at work, your work pays for it. Okay? You come to my house and my dogs dug a hole in the front yard and you trip in it, you break your ankle, my homeowner's insurance pays for it. Okay? That's, they want to establish liability. Okay, so there's a lot of kind of pieces we've got to think about. How do I paint a full picture of what's been going on with this patient? Does that make sense? Okay. I know I'm just blasting through stuff. I apologize. Um, let's see. So there's things like history. Um, there's things like long-term drug use. Basically, that's usually going to be stuff like insulin. Doesn't doesn't necessarily mean what you'd think like long-term, like opioid addiction. Right, right. I mean, there's codes and stuff like that in it for sure, but um, that's like long-term insulin, long-term use of blood thinners, stuff like that, because the doctor's got to think about that, okay? There's stuff for like, there's newer codes for like underdosing, like I didn't take enough. Um, there's a specific code for underdosing due to economic circumstances because they want to track how many people are ending up in the ED because they're too poor to buy their drugs. And it's a lot of people. <laughs> okay, you're going to look up those Z codes just like everything else, except it's a little con more confusing because remember I said condition or disease, condition or disease. Right. I don't have any of those things because it's a Z code. Okay, so if it's history of breast cancer, don't go to breast cancer because you're coding that person with breast cancer. Go to history. Okay? Right. If I'm getting an orthotic device fitted, go to fitting. It takes that takes some practice, okay? But like I said, you got a sentence in the diagnostic statement, you can't find it under what you think it's under, look up every other word. Just keep looking. Okay. It gets easier. It does get easier, I promise. But these are some examples. I go to like carrier, I go to exposure, I go to donor. Okay.